My name is Peter Hanik Moos and I'm dealing with analytics and planning applications more than 20 years. Welcome to this session where I will give you some insights on Microsoft Excel integration with SAP Analytics Cloud. I've been working with several SAP BW versions through the years now on HANA and for HANA, as well as several planning tools like, for example, Business Warehouse Integrated Planning, BPC, and with several front ends, Business Explorer Analyzer, Business Objects Analyzers for Office, Lumira SAC, only to mention a few of them. Nearly all of them have in common that there was always a need to treat the data also in an Excel style. So let me show the steps I want to go with you. There is still a need to have Excel functionality available in combination with new planning and analytics tools. I'll show you the two options that are available as Excel add-ins to connect with SAP Analytics Cloud. And then I will focus on the newer one of these two, the SAP Analytics Cloud add-in for Microsoft Office. Besides only describing the functionality, I will show the features of this add-in in a live demo. I already mentioned the need of Excel or Excel style functionality in planning and analytics. And you can believe it or not, but studies have shown many companies are still using Excel as their primary tool for financial planning and analytics. This increases a lot of additional effort and therefore you will learn this in the other sessions of today or tomorrow and the next days. There is a need to look for a better option and you will see this SAC is a better option. But nevertheless, different users still have different needs. Management related users need dashboards with dashboard functionalities business users and controlling and Excel power users still are closely connected to these Excel tools. For example, extended features like pivot tables, etc. Therefore, I would say, believe it or not, even SAC using companies can still use Excel functionalities in their modern planning application. I mentioned we have two Excel related features with working with SAC. The one is the SAP Analytics for Microsoft Office addition for SAP Analytics Cloud. And the second one I will closely look into is the SAP Analytics Cloud add-in for Microsoft Office. The first one, maybe you know already, the SAP Analytics for Microsoft Office addition for SAP Analytics Cloud is available with the Analysis for Office package and as well as a standalone option, it can be used to deal with live connection models in SAC as well with upload models. And maybe you have it already in use. Analysis for Office is a tool that is available since about 15 years. Therefore, there has been already a lot of improvement. The other tool, the SAC add-in for Excel, has been launched in 2019. And now I will focus on this to show you this new tool, this very new tool. You can get it from Microsoft Office Store. It's a cloud application, has been launched, as I said, in 2019. And it can be installed like any other Excel add-in either locally or centrally by your IT department, by your IT colleagues in your... Um, you need to run this application, you need an Office 365 account and then you can use it either with a, with a desktop version or with the online version of Excel. You can use it with current Excel version starting with Excel 2016, for example, and in Windows environment as well as in a Mac environment. There are no additional license fees you have to pay if you have a SAC account, a planning account or reporting account, doesn't matter. Then you only need to enter the URL of the SAC and your own SAC credentials. Then you can connect to the, to the cloud and then choose the data that you want to work with as a model. 
some details on this application. The data you can work with is only right now, it's only possible for upload models, analytical as well as planning models, but not yet with a live connection. We will talk about this later, but right now you can work only with upload models or planning models. You then choose the model you want to work with. The data is, played in, is displayed in a table range, as you know it from Excel. And then you can get an overview on the model structure. And then you can build your report compared to a story, but in Excel functionality. And on top of this, you can add whatever you like. Excel formulas, pivot tables, or if you, work, if you are working with the uh, Office 365 version, you can share this information with other colleagues. You can create your own views and then work, analyze and plan. And planning means you can enter data, you can bring them to the, to the cloud application, to the SAC. Other colleagues that are working on the same model in the sa at the same time can enter their data and you will get them visible. This tool has a very long roadmap for change, is what I just mentioned. Is It's not yet available with live connection models. I don't know the details of SAP roadmap as you can see it, and I can't say that these steps will come in the, in the way that is written here, but the, one of the next steps, two of the next steps are to bring the live connection models into this add-in. And another one I also will show later in the, in the presentation is to create versions. And now it's time to look directly into the system. If you run your Excel, you will get an additional add-on screen or an additional tab in your, in your ribbon. And this looks like this, at least now. As I said, is it a cloud solution? And there is a long roadmap. That means if you run this tool in another weeks or months time, the ribbon may have changed a little bit. You, have, you will get additional functionalities. But now let's look into the system. As I mentioned, you can download this add-in from the Microsoft Store. You personally or your IT department, and then you have to activate it. And then you will find in the options area, yes, any other add-in as well. Let me show you in the options add-ins, here you will find it. And if you have done like this, you will see you get another tab here, Subnalytics Cloud, with a ribbon that I already have shown to you. Next step now is to connect to SSC. That means to sign in. I have entered my SSC logon data and my personal credentials already. And let's say go. And now I can select the table. That means a model within SAC. A model means an upload model or a planning model. Not yet, as I mentioned, a live connection model. Okay, I add this model and I get here my file structure, my folder structure in SAC. And I choose this financial model. And the first step is to adapt the layout. Besides the amount in transaction currency, I want to see also in group currency. I adapt the filter. And I want to add a measure in the rows, the account number. I can use some attributes of this account number, like that, for example. And get this layout, or I can say, Take the hierarchy that is beside, behind this account number and then do a expand of this hierarchy to level 3, for example, like that. And then I get my layout. If it is done, I can close this so-called builder. If I want it back to change the layout, I have to press new. And now I can add on this analytics area, I can add any 
additional Excel functionalities like a pivot table, like any formula or whatever. I can share this with colleagues. Okay, that is an analytic model and I now want to jump to a plan model which gives us more options to work with. I open a new tab and again say add a table and I choose this sales planning model. The first step is the same. I have to adapt my layout. Besides the measure, I want to see the entity and the product as dimensions, but in a different order. First the entity, product, and then the measure below. I want to see not only the quantity, but also the gross sales value and the net sales value, for example. In this product hierarchy, there's a node unassigned that I don't want to see. So let me adapt the filter to this total. And the entity should be shown as a hierarchy down to level 2, for example, here. And besides that, I want to see all plan versions in this layout that are available. That means I have to change my filter here and choose all members. Okay, that looks good. This is my first layout for this planning Excel. As this is a planning model in SSC, I can also have a look on it in SSC and let me jump to the SSC. I've created a story that looks more or less <clears throat> in the same way, same dimensions measures. What I already mentioned is that with this current release of the SSC and the add-in, it's not yet possible to create to create private versions within Excel, but this is possible here in SSC. So let's do that. I create a new version, I take this private version and copy it to another one called WE forecast with all the data and everything. As I didn't put a filter on this, I see all versions and I get this additional column WE forecast with the same values. And if I go back to Excel, I only need to refresh and we'll see the same column here as well. I refresh only this table, not all the, the other tables in my Excel file as well. I get this additional version. That means data is synchronized between this Excel add-in and SSC. We really have a live connection between these two applications. Now let's go back to the SSC. I can have a look on the sorry. I can have a look on the history of this versions and can do some rollbacks, things like that. That's not yet available in the add-in. What I can do in the add-in, I can do some planning. And let's say I change this value in this version from 3,000 millions to 4,000. What you see the, in the first step, only this value is changed, nothing else. We are in the data mass data entry mode. That means I first have to click process data to see the effect of this change on other figures here. And same again here in the SAC. Here I get these changes going back, taking this in a similar way. On the top level, I enter this to 11 billions something. Again, process data. I can see the changes. 
And if you have seen, this is a public version. Therefore, I have to decide whether I want to publish the data that I changed here with a disaggregation to all the levels below or whether I want to revert the changes. Bring them back to the original state. This planning is possible on top level with this aggregation, but top down and on bottom level, again, as you can imagine, what additionally is possible here in Excel, I can do a sort of a quick scenario. I have prepared a formula here. And it's calculating to this top value additional 5%. This is the very easy Excel formula behind the, this. And now, if I do a change wherever here, for example, here to 6 million, no, to the value here to 5 billion, Again, mass data entry, if I process the data, then not only the plan values here are changed, but also this Excel formula that means you can do some additional scenarios besides that and all the other Excel formulas. I don't want to talk now about again, pivot tables, other formulas and and all this, this other stuff. Again, changing the layout here with the builder is possible. Yes, that was what I wanted to share with you for today. As mentioned, with each new release of the SSE and the add-in, new functionalities will appear. Therefore, please pay attention not to miss anything. This was a short look into the system. You got, hopefully, some valuable information for your own work with the SAC models and with the SAC data. Thanks for your attention. Keep in mind what I already mentioned, this add-in is updated. In a few weeks, it may look a little bit different. Thanks a lot for your attention and any questions?